According to weather experts, an unexpected consequence of climate change is an increase of poison ivy. The plant is known for causing itchy rashes and irritation, but as the Earth's temperature rises, poison ivy, they say, is becoming more and more abundant and potent. Here's Aaron Walker. Warmer temperatures, along with higher levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, are making poison ivy grow faster, bigger, and more potent. Poison ivy is a carbon dioxide-loving plant. It thrives at high levels of the greenhouse gas. So, as CO2 levels increase, so does the growth of poison ivy. As a result of climate change, this plant stands to gain greatly. In a six-year study conducted at Duke University, scientists raised carbon dioxide levels in a forest plot to 570 parts per million, which is roughly the concentration expected at the end of the 21st century. As a result of high greenhouse gas levels, poison ivy increased its biomass by 67% more than poison ivy that did not have elevated carbon dioxide levels. In addition to growing faster, poison ivy is also producing more of its active agent, urushiol. This oily substance is what causes the itchy rash in humans. With more potent poison ivy, people are likely to experience more severe reactions. Scientists say that with climate change continuing to worsen, poison ivy will likely become an even bigger problem in the future. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Aaron Walker. Taking a closer look now at the difference between poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac, poison ivy grows on vines or small shrubs with leaves that have glossy leaflets with smooth or tooth edges. It can be a reddish color in the spring, green in the summer months, and yellow, orange, or red in the fall. Poison oak grows on low shrubs in eastern and southern parts of the U.S. It's got fuzzy green leaves and clusters of three that are deeply toothed with rounded tips. And then there's poison sumac. It's not really around the Midlands, but it grows on a tall shrub or small tree in swamps. Each leaf has clusters of seven to 13 smooth edge leaflets with colors that can vary while the seasons change.